teams that have been underwhelming, but players that have overachieved, perhaps overperformed, a silver lining, one could say. And Cam's here to spot some positives here for these teams. So, first and foremost, which players and losing teams have stood out to you? Tigers first. Yeah, Tigers first. Uh, you know, had a chance to cover this team all season long. And one guy that really stands out to me is first baseman Spencer Torkelson. I think he's a guy in his second season. I know a lot of Tigers fans have been up and down, a little hard on him. But you look at this guy in his second full season, we're talking about a guy who has numbers that project out to be 25 and 87 by the end of the year. If you're telling me that you're going to get a first baseman that has got better defensively, that has controlled the zone a lot more than he has in the past, the hard hit, hard hit rate extremely high this season, so a little bit of bad luck for him as far as the average goes, but that OPS slowly creeping up on the season, I think he has the opportunity to finish strong, and I really think watching his at-bats, he has the type of ability, the type of tools that could warrant him an all-star game and a guy that could become a future all-star for the Detroit Tigers. So Spencer Torkelson, first guy on that list. Yeah, sometimes high expectations can be overwhelming for a player, but he's certainly shown improvement this year, and as you said, 25-87, that'll play overall. All right, next up, St. Louis Cardinals. Jordan Walker, up and down year. What you like what you're seeing? Yeah, I love the tools that you see when you watch Jordan Walker take the field. I'm still confused on why he was ever sent down when he was hitting 275 with a you know 12-game hitting streak at the time. This guy, tools are off the charts. Talking about big-time pop, big-time power. When you give him reps, when you give him time, he's going to get better. He's a guy that when you talk about – Jordan Walker, he works his butt off. He's there early every day. He leaves late, and he's constantly working on his craft, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Look at those numbers right there. Last 12 games, 252, 323, 421 slug. This is the type of guy, look at that walk percentage, 8.1 walk percentage. So that right there tells you he's starting to control the zone a lot more. When he does that, his tools are going to jump off the chart, and we're going to see what type of player and how dominant he can be as a young player in this league. It's still just 21 years mm -hmm. of age. you got to think lots Absolutely. of upset for him with the St. Louis Cardinals. Lastly, we showed you that Mets-Pirates game. You're focusing on a player playing in that game. Let's give the Mets fans something to be excited about. I know not the season that you wanted to have, uh, you know, pretty disappointing, but there's reasons to still watch. And it's that young catcher that they have. I mean, this guy, Alvarez, what he's been able to do, 21 years old, Adnan, 21 years old, talk about a guy, 21 homers, 44 stakes. And the way that he was able to handle those veteran catchers, I think about the way Justin Verlander raved about him, the way Max Scherzer raved about him. They talk about his defensive ability. And you look at the way he's able to pull, he almost fits that Mets uniform. He fits what those Queens fans are all about. Yeah. He's got a little bit of edge. He's got a little bit of showmanship, but his tools are off the, uh, his tools are off the charts. 21 years old. The sky's the limit for this guy. If he continues to have the right people around him, continue to push him to do the right things, continue to get better, the sky is the limit, and they could have their catcher for the future. It could be a guy who hits 30 home runs. What I've been impressed by is how good he is defensively as well. Absolutely. This is not a one-trick Yeah, the average is going to go up. He's 21 years old. The more at-bats, the more reps that he gets, he's going to start to understand what he needs to do at the plate to, that makes him effective. And I think there's only – you know, it's only up from here as far, as far as Alvarez goes. Plenty of upside there for the yeah. New York Mets. All right, some positive signs there when you look at Torkelson and Jordan Walker and Francisco Alvarez.